Yo, what up guys? Sammy Lee here from the Soul Brothers and I just got something dope in today. I just woke up from a nap because I had to wake up early to drive over to LA to the Jordan Jumpman 23 studio slash I guess foot action store to get the Why Not 0.2s. So they had a, an early drop. Um, the other day Russell Westbrook actually went to the store with some kids and they did some kind of event. But yeah, so this is the 0.2, so I was, so, you know, traffic sucks, you know, driving to LA, it took a while, I think like an hour, 10, hour, 20 minutes, which kind of sucks, but I walked there, and then there's a little bit of a line, not really, so I was like, ooh, what the heck, so there's like 15 people, 20 people in front of me, and shout out to P. Jung, or Paul Jung, uh, from Instagram, uh, he's, he's the homie, he, he told me about the early drop at the store, so I was like, oh, okay. So thank you for that. But anyways, so I, I was there and then I was like, oh, dude, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get it because it, it's a super limited uh, release. So they're not gonna have a lot of pairs. So I was like, oh man, I don't know. So uh, I started asking like, oh, what are, you gonna, are, you, are you excited for the 0.2? They're like, what are you talking about? I was like, yeah, the Russell Westbrook 0.2, they have a whole display right there in front of the store. And they're like, no, 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 no. I, 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 I wanted to get the spider, we're, we're here for the Spider-Man. So I was like, oh, the Origins? Didn't those already come out? And they're like, yeah, but it's a re-release. So then I was like, oh, okay. So here it is, here is the uh, origin story. It's actually a really nice leather, to be honest. Very, very good quality leather. I, I was pretty surprised, but it looks super dope. But this is actually a grade school colorway. So they only re-released the grade school colorway. So all those people in line got a grade school colorway of the Spider-Man's or the origin stories. Um, but they're, they're obviously probably gonna resell it. And I was like, oh, why, why the heck not, right? right? So I, I can get the why nots for free. So that's kind of what I did. I'm sorry. I'm sorry guys for reselling if that makes you guys mad. So I got those and then the guy in front of me was smoking weed. He was smoking a joint <laughs> right in front of me. It was, it was awesome. Um, but yeah, so I went in, I got it and here is the box. You know, the box, I think it's the same exact box as last year, so and there's that. But also, since it is the early release, I got a, a special box. It says, what does it say? Own the Chaos. And it says, uh, right here, there's a little tag, and that's this is exactly what it says on the tag on the 0 0.2. Anyways, without further ado, sorry about the story and stuff. Let's get it started with the shoe. Let's start off with the traction. So the traction, uh, when we first looked at it, we were like, oh, I don't know about the pattern, it looks kind of weird, and it looks super soft. Uh, it, the grooves are really, really, really deep, man. I, I, these are probably the deepest grooves I've ever seen in a shoe. So that's good, I guess, for durability, but also the grooves are thin, I guess, like the circle part is really thin and really pliable, so durability seems like it's gonna be bad. And I feel like some of these circles might even rip off. So I don't know about that, and maybe they should have made it a little bit thicker for durability, but trying it. Initial thoughts on the traction, like on my wood floors, it's squeaking like crazy. It stops really, really nicely. So I feel like the rubber compound that they use in this outsole is gonna be really good. And also the actual design, and not accounting for durability but the actual design of like the kind of half circles I feel like it's gonna be really good on dust because it doesn't really trap dust <laughs> I guess I need to clean my floors but there is some dust picking up collecting but like it's pretty easy to wipe off and it doesn't look like it's gonna trap dust so yeah traction I feel like it's gonna be really good the only thing I'm worried about is durability not only on outdoor courts but hopefully it'll be durable even on indoor courts because, um, you know, it, it's kind of reminding me of like the PG2s and like the Kobe 360s where the, ru uh, the rubber nubs just ripped off. So we'll have to see on that. But initial thoughts, performance wise, traction seems like it's going to be good. Uh, right underneath, or I guess right on top of the rubber is this yellow midfoot shape. So it's, it's just plastic, nothing crazy. And it's really, really hard to bend this shoe. So it is, the midsole is a little stiff even in the forefoot area so hopefully that does break in because I don't like having really stiff midsoles. Moving on to the cushion. The cushion is actually really nice. You have a, it protrudes out so much like look, look at that. It protrudes out probably like an inch and a half to two inches right here. So that's kind of weird. It feels a little weird but they did 
you know, curve it up. You know, the 0.1, it was flat as all hell, very edged out. So it was kind of, you know, clunky in the heel and also it was like super flat. Uh, so heel to toe transition was not the best, but they did curve it up here. And I like that design and also the heel, whatever Phylon or foam they're using in the heel actually has a good amount of compression and it feels really nice in the heel. I like that heel to toe transition seems like it's going to be good. And there is a four foot zoom unit. We do not know how big it is. Um, I don't think it's going to be as big as like a Kyrie 5 uh, zoom turbo unit. You know, that basically encompasses the entire four foot. You can kind of see it says zoom here and then there's a little bit of a square cutout. Maybe that's how big it is, you know, maybe similar to the PG 2.5, that type of unit. But it feels nice. I can feel a little bit of compression from the zoom unit in the forefoot right now. I feel like it's going to break in and it's going to feel really, really bouncy once I do. It, it is a little disappointing because I do like full length zoom, you know, coming from the 0 0.1, but the 0 0.2 I feel like is an upgrade from the clunkiness and heel to toe transition. So I like that design aspect. Cushion feels really nice and plush. The insole is just your regular Orsolite insole, so nothing crazy, but it does improve, help to improve the stepping comfort. So yeah, cushion I am excited about. But anyways, moving on to the materials. The materials is it's kind of like a mesh nylon type of material in in the fourth. There's a lot of different types of materials on the shoe. So in the blue part is fused up in the toe for uh, extra added durability, but. The nylon mesh actually feels not bad. It is a, it is a little stiff right now. Um, it doesn't feel too great in hand, like as far as, you know, comparing it to like the Battle Nate 2.0, like in hand, it doesn't feel like the most premium material, but on foot, it's soft. It doesn't really feel like it stretches at all and it's comfortable, it's thin. So I like that material in the forefoot. You also have this strap material. I, I don't know what type of material this is, but it looks like carbon fiber which looks really really cool and then here kind of like in the midfoot slash heel area you have this black part which is it looks like a nice knit i don't know why they didn't use this knit for the entire upper but there's that and also in the heel you have this kind of like embossed heat press type of material it has it makes this kind of rhombus pattern so overall materials it's not bad it kind of reminds me of the pg2 where it's not the best material as far as like quality goes like feeling it but on foot it feels like it feels pretty damn nice it also feels really supportive. You have this little uh, blue thing. I, I don't really know what we can call it, but I guess it kind of it acts as an eyelet as well. So the laces go through that, and I feel like that's gonna help with louder containment there. Also, you have this extra strap, which you know adds durability and support. And also, you have a lot of foam coming up. You have this pointed foam design right here, which also does act as a counter. And you have this external heel counter for you know, heel support and containment as well. So support in lockdown seems like it's going to be really, really good. Uh, one thing that I don't like about this design as far as functionality goes is putting on the shoe. Putting on the shoe is really hard. So they made it so that the heel, in the heel, the you have like a heel tab, but then inside the shoe, you have another type of heel tab, which is kind of weird. Uh, when, when I try to put the shoe on, you know, like you would think that, you know, just pulling on this heel tab, you know, heel tabs make it a lot easier to put shoes on, right? But then once you put this on, your heel kind of catches on this inner booty and then it just crinkles up down. So I can't put it on. So I have to kind of use my thumb as like a shoehorn and, and then put my foot in. So it kind of de defeats the purpose of having a, you know, long heel tab. But like in the PG2s, it's like kind of the opposite. You know, the PG2 has, the material on the outside but it's a lot shorter and then on the inner booty you have a really long heel tab so it's, you just slide your foot in so um, they probably should have made it a little bit longer for the inner booty so or maybe connect the tab to the inner booty to make it easier to put on but that's just a little minor gripe moving on to the fit so the fit I did go to a size 8 because that's the smallest size they had but actually it's not bad it's not that long you know so I'm thinking like if you go true to size it might be a little snug because like even when I did go up half a size uh, it is slightly narrow and there's really no toe space you know, it feels really t snug in the toe area, in the toe box. So it, just be wary of that. You know, if you do go true to size, it's going to be pretty snug everywhere. So, all right, moving on to the weight, it's 14.57 ounces. So uh, it is half a size up from my normal size. So I guess we 
give it, um, I guess, 0 0.2, 0 0.3 ounces or something like that. So I, I would say maybe around 14.3, 14.2 ounces. I mean, anything over 14 is still pretty heavy. It does feel a little heavy, but not really that bulky as far as comparing it to the 0.1s, you know? So I'm really happy about that. And traction seems phenomenal and support and, and, and fit and all that seems really, it is really good for me. So I, I feel like I'm gonna feel light on my feet and responsive when I play in the shoe, but it's probably just gonna be a little bulkier and chunkier than most other shoes that are playing, like comparing it to like the Curry 6 or you know Kobe's and stuff like that. And moving on to the aesthetics, I love how these shoes looked. There was a lot of hate on Instagram, you know, a lot of people didn't like how these looked. But I, I really like this colorway. I, I like the uh, overall silhouette of this shoe. Uh, tell us what you guys think of the aesthetics and also what you guys think of putting the the size tag on the heel. That's kind of weird. I don't know why they did that, but anyways, uh, it is 125 bucks. So they did raise the price $10 from last year's model, but it has a little bit less tech. I guess materials are a little bit better. So I don't know about the price increase, but overall, I, I'm, I'm, I think I'm going to enjoy the shoe and I really like the shoe overall as of right now for first impressions. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and play these tonight. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys next one. Peace.